Hang on. Okay, okay, we're good. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. What was this? I don't know what this was, but. <laughs> if you did not see my most recent video, I'm going to say finish this video and then go watch my other most recent video. So just if you haven't seen it, there will be like a link maybe on this side or on this side. I, one of these sides. I'm not sure yet. I don't I don't know. I forget YouTube. Whatever. If you have not seen the video, make sure you go and check it out. I tried on a bunch of Amazon clothes. I ordered like clothes that look great in pictures and we tried them on on me. Duh. Duh. We tried them on on me. And the result was actually awesome. I was super impressed. And you guys really seemed to like that video. There was a lot of comments underneath. And that's awesome. So if you guys want to see more videos like that, I can totally do it. I actually ordered from Amazon and I ordered from one certain shop on Amazon. It's called Chafave. And they ship through Amazon and AliExpress. And I ordered from there, like all of their clothes from their shop and we tried them all on. I gave you the review, I gave you the whole breakdown and it actually went really, really well. So if you have not seen that video, make sure you click. I mean, like it'll be in the description bar as well if you wanna watch it after this video. And um, all of the products that I was wearing, like all the items I was wearing in that video. I even have a link for them below this video too. So I take care of you, don't worry. Okay, so let's get on to today's video. Um, we are doing just some favorite product videos. And personally, these are my favorite type of videos to watch. Like I wanna know like, yes, what do you like right now? Like tell me, like it, all over in general, what do you like, I need to know. People don't really do monthly favorites anymore, which is, whatever i like monthly favorites but i definitely wouldn't be able to do monthly favorites because i don't try enough new product to ever give a monthly favorite i guess i guess that's the right way to say it i'm very set in my ways i like to use what i know will work and that's it so every once in a while i will try new products and a lot of these products are ones that i have tried recently and i just like really liked and kind of incorporated into my new routine even today i did my makeup and my hair and i just don't feel like myself like i feel gross right now i don't feel good i don't know i feel off today i think it's just because i don't know my tan's starting to fade and like my hair's dirty it's why it's in a ponytail and just, I just don't feel my best. But if I waited to do things when I felt my best, I would be waiting my entire life. So we're gonna talk about some new products. I have some beauty, I have some skincare, and I have some clothing too. So just stick around. Yeah, let's just get into it. I recommend all of these products like 1000%. So ready, let's go this way. I'm gonna start with the product that inspired this entire video actually. This is the Dove Dry Spray Invisible No White Marks on 100 Colors Deodorant, Antiperspirant, whatever, whatever. I am so obsessed with this. Like, I love it. So I got this because I was using like just a normal secret deodorant or whatever and it worked fine. I didn't really think there was like different levels of deodorant and then I ran out of it and I went to Walmart to get a new one. I saw this and I don't know something inside my head was like do it like just do it and this one was five dollars and 45 cents and I was like okay but my secret one is like three dollars like why would I? Something in my head was like, Hannah, do it. Like, pick it up and just walk. So I was like, all right. Mine is in the scent. The scent name is Clear Finish. And it has like this pink cap at the top. I am so obsessed with this deodorant. Like, where has it been my whole life? Like, I was wearing deodorant and it wasn't this. Like, I'm confused. It is so good. It smells so good. I get excited to put deodorant on. It helps with sweating. I mean, it's not going to completely take sweating away because no antiperspirant does that unless you're like getting Botox shots, which we're going to talk about because I might have to do that at one point. I do, I do sweat a lot for future reference. But So I work at a minor league baseball stadium and my dad works there too. And like I will go in maybe like 
I don't know, like 4 o'clock, whatever. And I'll usually stay for the end of the game. It might be like 11. My, I honestly sometimes I don't get home to like 11, whatever. It's not like it's a super long shift, but you know, I'm out. Like, I'm in an office and then I run around a field, like things like that. So I can still smell this like the next morning because I always shower in the morning. So I will, you know, maybe go to work. Like I get ready for work at like 2 or whatever. And I can still smell this the next morning. Like after I work and after I work and run and all that stuff. This stuff smells so good. It works so well. It says it has 48 hour like protection. Yeah, like I mean, I usually shower within 48 hours, but I'm obsessed with this. And this is what inspired the whole video because I was like, I need to tell them about this. Like I have to. I am obsessed. It is worth every single dollar. Like Dove, Dove, if you ever need any brand ambassadors or like you sponsor, whatever, sponsor me Dove because I love this. Like I wish I could buy this scent in a bar soap. Like I'm obsessed. I'm, a, I'm obsessed. Next product, um, it's a little not me either, but I love it. So this is the Tarte tartiest lip paint in the shade birthday suit now a lot of you probably already have this because this was the birthday gift from sephora last year and something in my head like i've just been having weird moments of like like someone's just talking to me in my head and telling me what to do and they haven't been wrong yet so i'm gonna keep following that voice but that's besides the point the other day i like thought about this which is really weird because I have a million liquid lipsticks in my collection. I have so many lip colors. I wear like the same ones every day. I don't really think about like just random birthday gifts from Sephora, you know? So I thought about my mini one I have of this and I was like, oh my gosh, I should just try it. And I did for work the other day and it looked so good. Like so good. I am obsessed with this lip color. It is beautiful if you have tan skin. When I kind of lose my tan, it doesn't look as, I don't like it as much on me. I mean, that's a preference, but I personally really like it when I'm freshly self-tanned. I'm obsessed. Um, it is the perfect pinky nude. I will swatch it here for you on my really, really pale hands. The formula of this lip paint or whatever is amazing. It is the least drying I've ever seen. It is just like, I have nothing bad to say about this. And I'm saying that a lot of you probably already have it because it was last year's birthday gift. So if you have like the mini one of it, it's the exact same thing. Go try it on. I am 1000% obsessed with it. I have it on underneath a gloss that I'm going to mention later in this video, but I am obsessed and I don't really do matte lips. I am much more of a glossy girl, but like, I love it. Okay, my hands are so badly self-tanned. So this is the this is the color right here. I hope you can see that. It is beautiful and it just, I am obsessed. Like I went out when, as soon as my little mini one like ran out, I went right to Sephora. Oh, I guess I should include you have to buy this at Sephora. It's Sephora exclusive shade, but it's amazing. Cause I looked for it at Ulta, couldn't find it. Thought I was just stupid. Thought, oh my God, I was limited edition. I'm never going to be, uh, I, was, uh, I was so upset. But then I went to Sephora and I got it. It's 20 bucks, which is not a drugstore, but it's not like the worst price ever. And I love it. I would pay it again and again and again. I probably will pay it again and again. I'm obsessed with this lip color for the summer. I love it. On the topic of makeup, the LA Girl, well, I guess I should show it to you. This is the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. It's HD Longwear Illuminating Foundation. I can't do without this stuff. Like, what was I wearing before I was wearing this? Like, I mean, I was wearing Revlon Colorstay. I still love Revlon Colorstay, but this foundation, oh my god. I have it in the shade beige, nude beige, and warm beige because I'm not messing around. I need a foundation shade of this for every single day. I love it. This foundation is like $6.99. It is amazing if your skin is normal to dry. If you're oily, 
don't try this but it is so good and i actually tried it on a whim in the beginning of may i had a banquet and i was like really freaking out and i was like i'm not gonna have any foundation to match and oh my god whatever so i just tried it and i love it okay i'm gonna insert here a picture from my instagram like there was no retouching on this nothing this is all from this foundation so I used a different foundation today. I used the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk and I still love it. I still think it looks really good, but I really just prefer this one. Like to almost all of my foundations, I prefer this one. I just love it so much and I know I need to try the matte version of it. But my skin has been not oily at all. It's been very normal to dry. So I'm just gonna stick with this. I am obsessed with it it is like $7.99 go get it it's amazing okay um one more makeup product this is another lip product so I have talked about this a couple times before I think on my channel but not recently and I've been using it a lot recently this is the essence shine 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 wet look lip gloss when they say wet look they're not kidding this is kind of mixed with like other liquid lipsticks that's why the color is kind of gross in there but i love this when i wear no makeup like recently i've been wearing a lot less makeup just not doing my makeup and i just have been wearing this with eyelash extensions and it looks like i have my shit together but i don't this scent is really sweet but I really like it. It is like $2.99 at Ulta. And I think that this is better than MAC lip glass. Like they have a clear lip glass. This is really, really good. I wouldn't, I'm not going to pay more than this price for a cl like a clear lip gloss ever again. Because it's that good. The applicator is so smooth and nice. And like it just, I don't know. It looks wet and looks good. It makes your lips look, wow. Makes your lips look bigger, fuller. And it stays on. It's not sticky at all. It's so smooth and it doesn't get caught in my hair. Like I am going to buy this in bulk because if they ever get rid of it, it's not going to be okay. All right, two skincare products that I'm really excited to talk about actually. So I actually just got back from the Hamptons like a week and a half ago. I was um, at the Hamptons on vacation and I was with like a bunch of girls. So I have no idea whose this is, but it ended up in my suitcase on my way home. So, this is the Clinique Exfoliating Scrub. It literally just says Clinique Exfoliating Scrub. And it's in the green bottle. And I love this. I have never really tried any of Clinique's skincare products. I always thought it was a little bit too gimmicky for me. Like, okay, you have to use this entire line of skincare regimen to have good skin. No. Like, don't tell me what to do. Okay. One of the girls in the house had to have had this because I didn't. And it got into my suitcase and I was like, how, whose is this? And I should probably find out who the owner is, but I want to use it for myself because I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> this scrub, I like this one more than my Murad one. I, I think I mentioned my Murad one in my skincare video. This one is just better. Like, I feel like my skin feels cleaner and this almost has like a choline sensation so you'll put it on your face you know like just scrub it on and then wash it off with water like normal and your skin kind of tingles cold and i love that like i love when i can feel a skincare product working i've said that a million times i'm gonna say it over and over again that's like my favorite thing and you can definitely feel a difference after this my makeup just goes on smoother my skin looks more vibrant clear i love this stuff um i only use it maybe like three times a week and I probably only wear makeup about three times a week. So typically I'll wash my face like normal with my Vanity Planet brush. And then I will use this afterwards just with my fingers. And I love it. I would not suggest using a facial brush with this because it already is gritty. So just kind of use it almost like a scrub. And I love it. I don't know how much this is. I don't know anything really about it other than it was in my suitcase. And now I'm obsessed with it. So one more skincare product so in my skincare video i mentioned that i use the cetaphil like gentle cleanser for my face and that i really liked it and i still do um i really like it a lot i have the giant one of it but when i went to the hamptons i left my big giant like five ounce bottle in the city so i left it in new york city and 
I was like, oh, I better go get a new one. So I went to Ulta and I bought like the mini one of it just because, I don't know. I don't even know why I bought the mini one, but I did. I actually got the wrong one. So this is the daily facial cleanser. It's not just the gentle, like normal Cetaphil cleanser. And I thought it was the same one. So I was like, whatever. And I started using it and it's not the same. This is more potent, I would believe the word you would use is, more potent. I feel like it is definitely still gentle, but it's better, like it's a step up. I'll probably use the other one that I have for my body because I still like it for my body because it's really gentle, but I really like this. I feel like it gets off my makeup just a little bit better than the other one. Yeah, I really like it. I'm gonna go get the full size. It kind of smells a little bit more chemically, but it has not bothered my skin. I actually think I actually think it's helped my skin, like upgrading to this. So if you have the normal one, you know, and you like the normal one, stick to it. But if you want to try this one, I think it's really good. I think this one's really good too. And if you do, if you did buy the normal one, you could even like mix the two. You could put it all over your body, all over your neck. That's what I do. I wouldn't use this all over my body. But um, I use the, I always used to use the other set of foam one all over my body too, just because it makes your skin smooth. So, should I toss it back like Gigi Gorgeous? I have two clothing products to talk about now, which is cool. So the first one I get so many questions about. I've had it for a while and I haven't talked about it on YouTube yet, but I'm ready to talk about it now. You know like those Amazon bikinis where you're like, Okay, but do you look like the picture, you know? So I got this bikini. I actually got it, four of them. I got it in a small and a medium in blue and green. Yeah. So this is the bikini. I wore this when I was in the Hamptons and everyone was like, oh, where'd you get that? I was like, Amazon girl, like 18 bucks. So the top is like this. It's just a straight bandeau top. And it has like a good stretch to it, but not too much of a stretch. So like if you went into the ocean with this on, it would still... Like, you'd be okay. There isn't any padding to it. So I will fair warn you, if you got big boobs or whatever, I mean, your nipples might show. But I'm not mad at that. I don't, I don't care at all. This is the top. And then it spreads out. And it covers, like, a decent amount of your body. Like, it actually does. And I really like it. But the bottoms are what really sold me. I have the bottoms in green and black here. So the bottoms are super high-waisted. And they have like, like they come the whole way up on the hips. I'm gonna try it on right now, but I'm super bloated. So I'm just gonna insert some pictures of me wearing it. I am obsessed with the bottoms. The bottoms are so high-waisted. They sit high up on the hips. They give you the illusion that you are, like your butt's bigger than the rest of, you know. The back of it is pretty cheeky as well. And I mean, I'm not mad at it though. Like I really, really like this bikini. I have videos of my of me wearing it and pictures. Uh, I will put a link below directly to this bikini. I really, really like it. I think it does look like the pictures. Like this is the black, this is the black bottom. And you know, you don't need to spend a million dollars on bikinis. Like you can get good ones if you just look hard. So I would definitely suggest this one. Um, I prefer mine in the size small, but they do run small. Like the small is really small on the top. I have them in a small and a medium and I think I prefer the small just because I don't like there to be like any extra wiggle room, but I would say it's pretty true to size. So if you typically wear like a medium in like shorts and stuff like that, get a medium. Amazon bikinis, that's where it's at girlfriend. One more clothing item. This is kind of different, but whatever. These pants are from Aerie, and I saw Taylor Kelly. I don't know if anybody has follow her on Instagram. Taylor Kelly, she went to the Hamptons with me, and she wore these, and I was like, oh, wow, I need those in my life. They're currently on clearance at Aerie, I believe. I love them. Aerie is, like, stepping their game up. Like, seriously, I am so impressed when I go into their store. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need that and that. And because it's like comfy clothes that look really cute. And I am all about the comfort. Okay. So these pants, I think they were originally like $35 and then they were maybe 25% off because they were clearance. I don't know. I think I paid like around 20 bucks for them because I think I had a birthday coupon too. But they're really cute. And they're this like linen material and they have like a drawstring and the crotch is low. So 
It sits pretty low. I will insert a picture of these on my body too. I love them. I'm obsessed with them. Bottoms are tapered so they aren't like flare or anything like that. And I just really like them. I think these are perfect for the summertime. Like we went to a lake the other day and I wore this with a bikini top and like black sandals. My bikini top was pop was black and the pants were white and my shoes were black it just looked really beachy and cool and i love it the one thing about it is they are a little bit see-through so you would have to wear like you're not going to see your butt but like you would have to wear like nude underwear with it so honestly these might be like a beach cover-up i'm really not sure but regardless i love them and i'm going to keep wearing them and yeah airy you're doing that okay one more thing to mention, this is one more makeup product, and this is the only thing I don't have here with me because I just ran out of it and I threw it away because I'm stupid, but I get eyelash extensions like religiously, but recently I've been really rough on mine and they like, I know that it's my fault, it's not anything the salon's doing, I've just been like rough on mine and they kind of got a little like junky and I had a fill in like a couple of days. So I wore lashes. Like I wore strip lashes. Which I know if Kelly's seen this she's going to be like. Oh, Hannah you wore strip lashes. Yeah I sometimes like with YouTube and stuff like that. I don't want to get on here looking a mess. And my lashes just. It's nothing that no one did other than me. Like I just didn't really take care of them. And they kind of looked. I don't know, like, I needed a fill pretty bad. It was, like, I think it was going on, like, th almost maybe over three weeks. And I just was rough on them, so they were beat up. So I was like, all right, I gotta, I gotta put lashes on. So I used my House of Lashes glue, and oh my god. It's so good. I will insert a picture of it right here. This is the House of Lashes glue, and I am obsessed with it. Um... It has a brush on applicator, which is, you know, like necessary at this point. It's 2018 and we are only using brush on applicators. It is really good. It's like nine bucks. I think you used to be able to get it from Sephora's website, but I'm really not sure anymore because I haven't worn lashes in like a year and a half, but I love it. And if you go to order it from House of Lashes, order it from House of Lashes. It is just amazing 1000 percent recommend that eyelash glue what made me think to put this in the video was because i used it the other day and i was like oh my god this is so good whatever but then i had other lashes and i was putting them on like the next day or something and i ran out of glue like i was out it was dry and i was like shit i called Margo. i was like do you have house of lashes glue and she was like nope and i was like I was like this is what i get for not being responsible honestly also lashes glue 10 out of 10 would recommend for sure okay i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching that is all the products i have i'm gonna try to keep up on these and do these like when i realize that i have new products to share because i always do just gotta make sure it's like the good good you know i don't want to serve out the mediocre i want to serve out the good good okay all products will be linked below and yeah it, well, you'll you'll be seeing this video on Sunday and my anxiety video is going up I think Wednesday if you made it to the end of this video then I'm assuming you're a dedicated subscriber and um, I have decided to officially do like an upload schedule because I guess that's what youtubers do I know I had said before like every Sunday at 8 p.m. and I kind of like fell off from that but now that it's summer you know I'm ready to go we're doing every Wednesday and Sunday at 8 p.m. so set your alarm children Wednesday and Sunday 8 p.m. we are doing new videos twice a week and yeah I'm super excited um I really want to get this YouTube thing like like it's on a roll like don't get me wrong my hair video is at like 100 and 30,000 some views which is amazing and I'm like so grateful but I'm ready to roll with it like I'm ready let's dive in let's do it let's go head on let's here we go thank you so much for watching I keep smelling my deodorant and I love it so much <laughs> that's not normal okay Thank you for watching. If you try any of these products, let me know. Be like, hey girl, so I tried this and I'm obsessed with it. And I'm going to be like, God bless you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Make sure you leave a comment below. And I will see you on Wednesday. Mm -hmm.